Delta has published both its fourth quarter results and 2022 results. It clearly shows how the carrier has performed for the year. Delta in 2022 certainly experienced many highs, but also several lows in what was a challenging year. So in this video, we're going to talk about big Delta news. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Delta Airlines becomes the first airline to publish its 2022 full-year financial results in the U.S. The airline turned a $1.3 billion profit this year, showing the recovery of the airline industry from the pandemic, despite high fuel prices and a challenging operational environment. Delta said it expects to earn $0.15 cents to $0.40 cents a share on an adjusted basis in the first quarter of 2023, below what analysts expected. The airline said its sales will likely increase 14% to 17% over the same quarter of 2019, with capacity down 1% from four years earlier. But that higher cost will likely weigh on profits. But it said unit costs, stripping out fuel, will likely increase 3 to 4% from 2022, including for labor and rebuilding its network. Their yearly profit is a massive boost for Delta's global recovery efforts. While they're still not at pre-pandemic levels of finances, it's a result the team can be proud of moving into 2023. In 2022, the airline took delivery of 69 aircraft spread primarily across new Airbus aircraft. The airline secured the new A321neos, A22300s, A33900, and A35900s while also saying the welcome to the used 737-900ER. Delta people rose to the challenges of 2022, delivering industry-leading operational reliability and financial performance, and I'm looking forward to recognizing their achievements with over $500 million in profit-sharing payments next month, said Ed Bastian, Delta's chief executive officer. As we move into 2023, the industry backdrop for air travel remains favorable, and Delta is well-positioned to deliver significant earnings and free cash flow growth. We expect to grow 2023 revenue by 15 to 20 percent and improve unit costs year over year, supporting a full year outlook for earnings of five to six dollars per share and keeping us on track to achieve more than seven dollars of earnings per share in 2024. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Indeed, the airline announced a pre-tax income of $1.2 billion and an operating margin of 11.6 percent for the last three months of the year. The operating revenue for the last quarter of the year even exceeded 2019 being 8% higher than pre-COVID levels. The $1.4 billion profit marks a significant increase for the whole year compared to the $280 million profit in 2021. This is good news for Delta, which hopes to increase these numbers in 2023. The airline generated $13.44 billion in total sales for the final three months of 2022, 17% higher than the $11.44 billion it brought in three years earlier. High costs ate away at some of Delta's profits, but its net income still totaled $828 million, down from $1.1 billion in the same three-month period of 2019, but on 9% less flying than three years earlier. It was a sign of travelers' willingness to continue booking, even at high fares, which more than made up for the increased expenses. The operating costs have also increased, primarily due to the high fuel prices, which have increased by 34% between 2019 and 2022, and the operating expense was almost $7 billion higher than this year. Airlines have largely been upbeat about the fourth quarter, despite concerns about a recession and weakness from some retailers and other businesses. On Thursday, American Airlines hiked its revenue and profit forecast for the period, sparking a broad rally in the sector. That was even after severe winter weather disrupted flights coast to coast over the year and holidays, prompting mass cancellations. Delta ranked first among nine U.S. carriers in the Wall Street Journal's 15th annual airline scorecard for the second consecutive year, and fifth of the past six, reporters Don Gilbertson and Allison Pohl wrote in the journal. Delta retained its crown by navigating the hurdles better than peers. The rankings are based on several factors like on-time arrivals, completion factor, and involuntary bumping, all of which Delta took the top spot. The newspaper named Delta its top U.S. airline for the second year in a row in its annual airline scorecard rankings. Delta also ranked second in preventing extreme delays. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys.